Hey everyone! Today I'm excited to show you a practical example of using Google Apps Script for data entry in Google Spreadsheets. We've created three distinct types of forms, Form 1, Form 2, and Form 3. Form 1 is designed in a horizontal layout. Form 2 takes a vertical approach. Form 3 is the most flexible, allowing complex form field layouts tailored to your needs. Let me take a moment to explain how I created these forms. Essentially, I've used data validation rules to create and populate the drop-down menus. As you can see, when I double-click on date field, date picker shows up. I have used is valid date criteria in data validation settings. The cells containing drop-downs draw their options from a designated drop-downs tab within our spreadsheet. In this tab, you can find various categories, such as activities, durations, and users in column A, B, and C, respectively. Let's dive deeper. If I click on cell C6 and access the data validation settings, you'll see that the values contain references to a range. Clicking on it reveals the data validation rules applied to Form 1, cell C6. You can see that the criteria for this field is set to drop down from range. Within the drop down rules, I've specified that the source for this drop down should be cells A2 to A24. This means that the options you see in the dropdown come directly from this range. After setting this up, I simply click Done. I've followed the same process for other fields. For instance, for cell B6, I've assigned the data source as the range B2 to B11, and so on. In addition to creating these dropdowns, I've also added an Add button to our forms. Each button is linked to a specific macro. For instance, if I right-click and choose Assign Script, you'll see that the Submit Form 1 macro is linked to the Add button in Form 1, and Submit Form 2 is linked to Form 2. When we add a new record using these forms, the data is sent to the Record tab. From there, we retrieve the data and display it in the respective form tabs, such as Form 1, Form 2, and Form 3. This setup ensures that our forms are dynamic and data flows smoothly from input to storage, making it easy to manage and access information. Now, let's see these forms in action. Imagine you're entering data. You start with the activity date, then the activity itself, followed by the duration and the assigned employee. After filling these fields, simply click Add, and you'll see the data appended right here. It works the same way for Form 2. Data gets appended instantly. Vertical forms are handy when you want to keep your form on the side, like on the left or right, and view your data alongside it. In contrast, Horizontal forms are ideal when you prefer your form at the top, with corresponding data neatly arranged below. The column order in your data matches the form's columns, making it intuitive and organized. Now, onto Form 3, the complex type. It's perfect when your form layout needs to be intricate, and you can't adhere to a strict vertical or horizontal alignment. Now let's dive into the app script that powers these forms. If you're new to this, don't worry it's easy to access. Just click on Extensions in the top menu bar, and then select Apps Script. This opens the Apps Script Editor, where you can find the code for all three forms. Submit Form 1, Submit Form 2, and Submit Form 3. These scripts make the magic happen, automating data entry and organization. So let's explore these scripts in more detail and learn how they work behind the scenes. All right, let's start with our first function, Submit Form 1. This function is designed to automate data submission from a Google Form to a Google Sheet. Let's walk through it. First, we define some constants, like the sheet names and form ranges. This is good practice as it makes our code more maintainable. Next, we get references to the form and record sheets using Spreadsheet App. This is a core concept, using the Spreadsheet App object to interact with Google Sheets. We then fetch the data from our form using get range and get values. This is how you extract data from a specific range in a sheet. We check if all fields are filled by checking if the form data includes an empty string. This ensures data integrity. If the form is filled out, we append the data to the record sheet and clear the form. This is a great example of automation. Imagine doing this manually for hundreds of forms. Moving on to submit form two, you'll notice it's quite similar. We're working with a different form, but the overall logic remains the same. This is a good illustration of code reusability, another important concept in programming. 
Now, Submit Form 3 introduces a new concept, working with individual cells. Instead of a range, we specify specific cells to extract data from. This is useful when you have a more complex form layout. We use map to fetch the values from these cells. This function helps us streamline the process. Then, we again check if all fields are filled and, if they are, append the data and clear the form. Notice how we use a different approach to clearing the form by looping through form range array. So, there you have it. We've covered core concepts like using spreadsheet app, code reusability, and working with ranges and individual cells in Google Apps Script. This code will save you tons of time by automating data entry tasks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And now you have a better understanding of how to use Google Apps Script for automation. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to ask. Happy scripting.